on the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. The time now is 624. For some, part of the morning routine is taking your vitamins, but a new study says vitamin supplements do not provide health benefits. We ask our Baptist Health cardiologist, Dr. Scott Davis, to look into this study, and he's here to explain not only a cardiologist, but also an avid Go hog fan. Hogs. Right? It's exciting stuff last we night. We don't get to yeah. talk baseball? <laughs> we can talk baseball on the break, but so, people want to know about this vitamin stuff. Yes, yeah, so, so this is my prop, the, the, the Flintstone chewable. So there's a big study that was just published in the Journal of American cardiology this month that that looked at a meta-analysis from 2012 to 2017 of vitamins and is there any benefit to prevention of cardiovascular disease heart attack stroke premature death and the unfortunate answer is no they looked at uh, vitamins a the b complex vitamins c and d and none of them really showed any benefit no risk but right. just no benefit. And it kind of goes back to the old adage, look, if you eat a healthy diet of fruits and vegetables and legumes and nuts, that that will supply the amount of nutrients that you need. Now, this is not to say that, look, if you're deficient in vitamin D, you, you don't need to listen to your doctor. Of course, you want to supplement if you're deficient, but if you're not deficient, a pill is basic a vitamin pill is basically nothing more than a fancy placebo and that's what we've kind of suspected all, all along is that look if 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 you're eating a healthy diet that it's not going to give you any added benefit this was a formal evaluation of that so once again, there's not magic in a pill. Well, and we see the vitamin industry growing and growing and oh, growing. I, I mean, there's so many out there, and you think, oh, I should take yeah. this, and I should take this. It's going to improve this, but this is kind of some good information and, 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 to and take. And just for full no. disclosure, they looked at the effect on cardiovascular disease. That's not to say that a vitamin C won't shorten the length of your, you know, a cold, but it doesn't provide any kind of mortality benefit. You don't live longer on a vitamin. So, yeah, you, you need to be aware of that as you're choosing which, which ones to, to take well, or, and, and or if you even need one. Well, and once again, a pill is not going to supplement a healthy lifestyle. And that's often what we do, mm. what we want to say is that, well, you know, I'm on a cholesterol pill, so I don't need to watch my diet. Right. Or, you know, I'm taking an aspirin, so I don't have to worry about any other risk. So it still comes back to we need to be responsible for our diet. And if you're, it, But if you do have a healthy diet and if you do try to eat some fruits and vegetables, that supplies enough nutrients and a supplement is not going to add, but it's not going to harm either. It just, as a rule, it just makes people feel better, but it's a placebo effect, not a true medical benefit. We know that fruits and vegetables can cost a little more money. Spend your money on that instead of sometimes the expensive items Absolutely. There. So, Good information this morning yep. from Dr. Scott Davis. If you have any questions, you can always call the Baptist Health Helpline at 1-888-BAPTIST.